1788L. Who is he? And why should we care? Well, I'll tell you why. Because this isn't just any episode of how to make mid-tempo glitch bass new beat electronic music. No, this is the episode where I finally show you guys my jack. That's right. I just got it in today. And uh, I've been saving myself up for release. The day has finally come. I'm jacking in. And to think it all started with just a taste of the abyss. You listen to something fascinating yet confusing, it piques your fancy and then you're hooked on novelty crack where all you want to do is understand the thing so you can make the thing because it's in your producer genes. So you patch into the audio space, absorbing anything and everything you can find about the topic. Music, articles, wikis, your squeezer. you ask yourself questions, who, what, where, when, how. You make spreadsheets about average times between release dates, how often, how far. You make spreadsheets about composition, instrumentation, and sound design. You note the patterns, plugins, techniques, and DSTs. You cry yourself to sleep because of the information overload which causes self-doubt. So you decide to upgrade your drivers to take the edge off. Now, with your enhanced sense of self-worth, you open up FL Studio and ask yourself the tough questions like, how should I structure the song? Or what vape flavor should I get next? So you start with a drop because it's more exciting and open up Serum. Confident with a sound design degree you got from watching that one virtual Riot video. Oscillator A, pick a wave shape, drop it three octaves, unison two, sick. Then oscillator B as a layer texture, drop it three octaves and find a wave table that suits your newfound taste, <laughs> sick. Then you frequency modulate from B, sick. Add a sub, shape, down three, direct out, sick. FX, hyper, phaser, diode distortion, sick. You arrange an eight bar pattern with the synth bass monster thing. Then you add the freshest drums in the game, slap it all together, and just like that, bro, you're the sickest producer in the entire room. You're really proud of yourself, so you go to an event to celebrate. Piece of shit. How could you even think that you were gonna be good? How could you even think that you were good? You know? Jesus. <sighs> now, with the courage of a new purchase, again, you decide to fill in the holes for the fills with fills in order to fulfill the drop. Fill. So you open up a synth, serum, confident with degree from video. Eventually, you have three distinct synth bases, but the fills are just not as intriguing as you'd like them to be. So you resample them, warping, pitching, and twisting at every turn. Hours seem to pass, and they turn into days as the audio space envelops you in its synthetic warmth. Then, after a while of diode distorting your soul, you have some fills. So when people ask you where you were this whole time, you can say, with pride, that you were filling your time with spiritual growth. And you get to work on section A, the intro to the build composed of atmospheres dramatically constructed by orchestral drum hits, pulsing with droning synths over a canvas of effects, sounds that you've wrangled together through sleepless nights and over-caffeinated mornings. In the distance, the swells of a synth pattern lead into a tension that builds over a span of 8 to 16 bars. Then, you do the copy and paste but wiggle things around a little bit as to avoid redundancy maneuver, and it begins to dawn on you. You're 99% done. All you have to do now is add the Powerpuff Girls drum break into the mix, prep your bowl of cereal processing, and you're a master. The proverbial sweat, the legitimate tears, it's all coming together and you couldn't feel better. That is, until you run out of juice. You've been in a dark room for six days twisting your knobs, and the more you tweak and listen, the worse it sounds. You're impotent. You need an upgrade, and none of that soft stuff works anymore. You need something bigger. You need to upgrade your hardware. Thank you.
what a what a what a ride! What an emotional roller coaster this has been. Yeah, no, this has been an episode. Uh, what a successful, what a great, what a time, what a time. This has been it, and I'm um, jacking off. This episode is brought to you by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service that offers over 2,000 documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers, including exclusive originals. Personally, I enjoyed the documentary Stephen Hawking's Favorite Places because it stimulated my little brain and inspired certain aspects of this video. So I recommend you check it out. Get unlimited access starting at just $2.99 a month. For my audience, which is you, the first 30 days are completely free. If you sign up at curiositystream.com forward slash imaginary ambition, it's all lowercase, and use the promo code imaginary ambition. Okay, I love you, bye. Don't forget to subscribe and also comment and like because you're very forgetful. Okay.